I'm sitting down for this one because it's gonna be a long one. Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna be doing my March TBR. I am being extremely ambitious. There are so many books that I'm just super excited about and want to get to in the month of March. I'm also gonna be participating in two readathons and I'm gonna be participating in some read-alongs for the BookTube SFF Awards. So there's a ton of books that I wanna get to in the month of March because there's also the regular books that I would normally read. And I've been in a bit of a reading slump in February, so I'm hoping that I can get out of the slump and get excited for these books in March. I know a lot of people in February like to do like the 28 and 28, well, in March, I'm gonna try and do the 31 and 31. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy, but I, I've actually done this before. I read last October, I read 31 books in the month of October, which is 31 days. Most of them are audiobooks though, and in the month of March, most of these are not audiobooks. So I feel like this is gonna be really hard for me to actually do, but it's one of the few months that I actually think I'll be able to do it because I have a lot of free time in March. I'm not very busy at work. I'm not very busy anywhere else in my life. And there's just so many books that I wanna read and I don't have a whole lot other than work to go to. So I think March would be like the perfect time for me to try and do the 31 and 31. So. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys will be excited for these vlogs because it, it's gonna be a lot, a lot. So the first readathon I'm gonna do is the Femme Fantale readathon, which is a play off of the words Femme Fatale, which is basically reading fantasy books written by women. And this is going from March 3rd to the 9th, I believe. It's hosted by Jean's Bookish Thoughts. So I will link her channel down below with the, her announcement video. And I chose six books that I wanna try and get to in that first week of March. There is like a bingo card for this one. So like there are 12 different prompts on the bingo card. So each of these books are gonna be satisfying two of those prompts. So the first book that I really wanna try and get to is City of Brass by S.A. Chakrabadi. This is a high fantasy book set in 18th century Cairo, which is just really cool. So it fits the historical fantasy category and it also fits the inspired by myth category because it has like mythology for the jinn, which is also really interesting and I really want to understand that more. I've also heard this book ends on kind of like a really good cliffhanger and the second book in the series just came out, Kingdom of Copper, which I have on hold at my library. I should be getting it in April. So I really want to finish this one in March. The next book I want to try in the first week of March is The Queens of Innes Lear by Tessa Groton. This is a standalone adult fantasy novel, which those are the two categories on the bingo board that it fits. It's a standalone novel and it's an adult fantasy novel and this one is following three sisters who are heirs to the throne and their father hasn't chosen who is going to be the heir yet and each of the three sisters are very skilled in different ways so definitely definitely interested in this one this one has been compared to game of thrones a little bit like the cersei sort of plot in game of thrones which i'm always skeptical of books that are compared to game of thrones but i've heard really good things about this one so i'm excited to get to this one as well the next one i want to try is actually an audiobook it's girls made of snow and glass by melissa bachardos it is a ya retelling of snow white which i've heard really good things about this one i've heard it's kind of bloody which i'm hoping that it actually is so i'm hoping that i'm really gonna like this one as well the next one i want to try and get to is one that i've been wanting to read for a really long time and this readathon is just the perfect excuse to do so and that is the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. I've been wanting to read this one for like several months now and I just haven't gotten to it. It's written by a black author which is one of the bingo spots and it also has good LGBTQ rep in this one so I'm definitely excited for it. I I think this is gonna be one of my favorites, but I have to actually, you know, pick it up and read it for that to be one of my favorites. So the next one that I really wanna to get to is an ebook that I have on hold at my library, and that is Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Dyachenkov. And this is a book that I've heard a lot about, but I really don't know anything about it but I've heard such good things about it. There are Ukrainian authors and it was recently translated into English. So I'm excited to get to it. And it is a translated work and I believe there's a romance in it. So it marks off two of the bingo squares there also. And lastly, we have 
the found of the lost by Ursula Le Guin. I recently got this. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to read one of the novellas in this book because the other two big no squares is one is a novella and something that was written before year 2000. And while the omnibus edition of this book was put together in 2013, each of the novellas were published in the 1970s and 80s. So I'm definitely excited for this. Ursula Le Guin is definitely an author that I want to read more of, but I was a little skeptical of picking up her larger books. So I definitely think starting with a novella is a good way to go. And I'm hoping that I will really like this one as well. Okay, so that is just week one. And that's six books in week one that I really want to try and get to. For week two, I want to participate in the Rereadathon, which was created by Murphy Napier. I will link her announcement video down below, but there's a bunch of different hosts for this readathon. I'm super excited for it because I've been wanting to reread a lot of books and just don't have like any reason to do so. So this is such a good like reason to just pick up the books that I've been meaning to reread. So for this, there are seven prompts and I'm gonna try and read seven books in the week. Most of them are smaller books because they're books that I read as a child and I just really wanted to reread them eventually. So I'm finally getting to it. I don't think it'll be a problem to read seven books this week and it'll definitely help me on that 31 to 31 goal. The first prompt is to give a book a second chance. And for that one, I'm gonna be reading The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. This is the first book in the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. I read this book a long time ago, like five, maybe six years ago, and I don't remember liking it very much, but I was also in a massive reading slump back then, and I don't remember anything about this book, but I've heard so many good things about the series since then, and I've wanted to continue on with it, but I don't remember anything about the first book, so I really need to read this first book, and hopefully I will like it this time around so that I can continue on with the rest of the trilogy. So the next one is reread a recent favorite. So there were a lot of recent favorites in the months of November and December of last year that I didn't reread because I was doing all of my rereads in December that I really wanted to get to. So I had a hard time deciding between books for this one. I ended up choosing The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. Harpan. This book is about a girl whose mother commits suicide at the very beginning of the book and she believes that her mother has turned into a bird. So she is half Taiwanese and she goes to Taiwan to try and find her mother basically and it's just such a uplifting tale i absolutely loved every second of this book i did listen to the audiobook of it though and for me it's just a different experience picking up a favorite in physical form versus just listening to the audiobook and i bought the physical book for this one because i've been wanting to reread it as a physical book ever since i listened to the audiobook so i'm definitely excited to get to this one the next one is read an old favorite for that i chose Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. I used to love this book as a child. I would reread it over and over again. Like you can see the spine is cracked and this is a tiny book to have a cracked spine because I read it so many times. Like this is the original childhood book that I had and I didn't have a lot of books as a child, but this was one of them and I absolutely loved it. But it's been a good 15, almost 20 years since I've read this book and I don't really remember the book very much. I remember the movie more than I remember the book and I really want to remember the book more so I'm definitely excited to get to this one. The next prompt was read a game-changing book which I had quite a few of these that I wanted to pick but a lot of them I've already reread and there was two in particular. Both of them are classics that I read in December and November of last year on audiobook and I decided to go with this one because I actually have a physical copy of it instead of the other one. So the other one that I was thinking about doing was Animal Farm, which was just like such like a game changer in my head for classics and for like that type of book in general. But I don't have the physical book for that one. So I mean, instead, I'm going to read The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. This was, I actually read before Animal Farm and I absolutely loved it. This is when I decided that I loved sci-fi. Before this book, I wasn't really sure. But with this book, I was just like, sci-fi is so good. I love reading sci-fi. I thought I only liked watching sci-fi on TV, but 
I definitely love reading it as well. The world building in this book is fantastic and the ideas that it explores are so interesting and I'm, I'm just really excited to finally get to the physical copy of this book because I think I'm just gonna love it even more in physical form. So the next one is to read an underrated or unpopular book. I don't know if this one's unpopular but I definitely think that it's underrated because I see this on Book Outlet a lot and I think because the newer books are coming out in this series this is a book that I read as a child and I remember loving it as a child but I had to give it back to the library so I didn't get to reread it so I don't remember anything about it other than the cover I just remembered the cover so when I saw it on book outlet I was like I read this as a child and I really loved it so I got it and I got the rest of the series well most of the rest of the series and I think the last book in the series is actually coming out this year so I really want to finally get to the rest of the series but in order to do that I have to remember the first book in the series so I'm gonna be reading The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner it's such a beautiful cover I just remember it so much from being a child but I don't remember anything else about this book other than the fact that I really loved it so I'm excited to get to this one and I definitely think it's underrated because I don't hear anyone talking about it and I, I loved it so it must be good so I'm excited. The next one is Read a Childhood Favorite. And for that, I'm gonna go with Once Upon a Marigold by Jean Ferris. This book, I loved as a child. This is also a book that I borrowed from the library as a child, but I remember a little bit more about this one than I do about the other ones that I read as a child. And this one has just always stuck with me. This was one of the first books that I bought as an adult because I wanted some of my childhood favorites and I haven't reread it since then and I it actually does have a sequel I think I don't know if I want to read the sequel but I definitely want to reread this one because I remember it being so so good and it's written kind of like a fairy tale as you can see once upon a marigold so I'm excited to see if I still like it and Definitely excited to reread this one again. And the last one is to reread a popular book. And you guys have to know what I'm choosing for this one because it's so obvious. I've been rereading this series all year long already. And that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. This series obviously is one of my favorites. I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook of this one, which I actually might be starting sooner than the rereadathon comes along, just because I'm gonna be finished with Prisoner of Azkaban very soon. But this one's a really long audiobook, so, and only half an hour a night. I'm not gonna be done with it by the time the rereadathon comes along. During the rereadathon, I would just have this be like my main audiobook that I'm listening to. This one is such a fun book. This is where you really get to learn about the Weasleys and the Wizarding World and like all the different schools and it was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. I loved the world building that happens in this book and I'm excited to live in this world again for a little while. In addition to all of the books that I mentioned, I'm going to be participating in the read-alongs for the BookTube SFF Award. There are quite a few books that I want to read in the month of March because of those. The first one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Aniemi. I picked up this book when it first came out because of all the hype. Like I actually bought a hardcover and everything because of all the hype and I just never got around to it and then a lot of other people started not liking it as much so I haven't picked it up since but I'm still really excited for this one because it's just the type of book that I would normally like. It has elemental magic system, it's West African themed, it's high fantasy. The only thing people seem to really not like about this book is the romance which I agree for most YA books anyway so I'm still excited for this one. I'm hoping that I'll end up liking this one and it's gonna be part of the readathon for March so I'm excited for it. So the next read-along that I'm going to be doing for the BookTube SFF Awards is Arusha and the End of Time by Roshni Chakshki. I have the audiobook for this one on hold in my library, so I'm going to be listening to the audiobook for this one. This is a middle grade fantasy. That's literally all I know about it. I haven't heard anything about this before, and I like going into my books blind, so I'm excited for it, and we'll see how it goes. So the next one is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cowell. This is the first novel in the Lady Astronaut series, which this book has been on my radar, but there are just other sci-fi books that I've been more interested in getting to first, such as The Expanse series, which I'm really, really enjoying. But I definitely want to get to this one because it has a very interesting premise because it takes place in an alternate universe or an alternate timeline or something like that. I don't know too much about it, but I'm excited for this one. I'm hoping that I'm going to like it. It's also available on Book Outlet, at least it is right now. So I ended up ordering more Book Outlet stuff because I wanted this book and because of the book Two of F Awards. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting that soon from Book Outlet and I'm super excited about it. The next one is actually not one of the read-alongs from March, 
but I'm just so excited for it and I should be getting it this week that I'm gonna read it in March anyway and it is nominated for booktube sff award and that is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence I read Red Sister last year and I'm so excited to finally get to Grey Sister I don't have the physical copy yet it should be arriving in the mail in the next couple of days and I'm so excited for it and the last book that I'm gonna be reading for the booktube sff awards it's not actually part of a read-along but the third book in this series is nominated and will be reading along in may but i have to read the first two books first and so i'm gonna end up reading this book in march and that is the long way to small angry planet by becky chambers this is on my list of books that i want to read this year my 19 books to read in 2019 and i just haven't gotten into it yet like i said there are a lot of other sci-fi books that i've been wanting to read so i haven't gotten to this one but i really want to try and get to this one in march so that I can be ready for the third one in May. So hopefully I can get to this one as well. And now that I'm finished with all of the books for the readathons and read-alongs that I'm going to be doing in March, there are still a bunch of other books that I really want to try and get to. So I'm hoping that I can get to these first. I'm going to talk about a few books that I have on hold at the library that I should be getting soon that I can get to them in March. The first one is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakshi. I'm getting the audiobook for this one and I'm definitely excited for it. I've never read anything by Roshni Chakshi before and I've heard some really good things about this one and I know the types of books that she kind of writes so I'm like prepared for it. It's a new release and it's all over booktube right now so I'm hoping that I'm gonna end up liking that one. The next one is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I read Sight this past month and I really really liked it so I'm excited to move on to the second book in the series and I'm hoping that I will like it just as much or even more. Then we have The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I read The Lightning Thief for the first time last month and I'm so excited to move on to the next book in the series. I'm getting this one on audio as well and I'm so excited to finally move on with the Percy Jackson series because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the series but it turns out that I'm liking it so I'm definitely happy about that. And lastly we have Faith Fate and First Kisses by Casey West. This is Casey West's new book that just came out last month. I've had it on hold for a few weeks now and I should be getting it in the month of March and I found that reading like romantic contemporaries and easier books in between my longer and harder reads always gets me feeling a little bit better and gets me moving on to the next books that I want to read. So I'm putting this one in there as well because it's one that I'm interested in and I think it could help me just stay out of reading slumps. So I'm definitely excited for it. And now for my regular monthly goals. So every month I want to read one classic, one historical fiction, one sci-fi, one mystery slash thriller novel, and then one book that's over eight 800 pages. So for my classic this month, I'm picking Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. And yes, when I went to my classic shelf, I literally just picked out the shortest book that I haven't read yet. But I do want to read John Steinbeck. He's one of the authors that I've heard so much about that I haven't read anything of him. And I wanted to start with one of his shorter works anyway. So I thought this would be a really good month to start out with. So for my sci-fi book this month, I know I have other sci-fis in the month that I could totally use as my sci-fi book, but I'm not going to not continue on with The Expanse series. So I'm definitely going to be trying to get to Abaddon's Gate by James S.A. Corey. This is the third book in the Expanse series. I'm currently reading Caliban's War, which is the second book in the series, and should be finishing it in time so that in March I can get to Abaddon's Gate, and I'm super excited for it. For my mystery slash thriller, I'm going to be reading Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. So for most of these mystery slash thriller books, I've been reading more thrillers, and I want to get back to mysteries because I haven't read a whole lot of mysteries, and this is kind of like a classic murder mystery. Agatha Christie is known as like the queen of murder mystery novels and I've never read anything by her so I'm excited to get to this one because I've heard her books are really good and this one was made into a movie so it's definitely a very popular one so I'm definitely excited for this as well. For historical fiction I'm going to be reading All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I'm probably going to get the audiobook for this one even though I already have a physical copy of it just because I like reading historical fiction on audio more than in physical form and I need more audiobooks for this month so I definitely think that I will enjoy this one. This is a World War II historical fiction following a 12 year old girl in Nazi occupied France and that's all I know about it. The last time I read a book about Nazi occupied France was The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna and I really really loved it so I'm hoping that I will love this one also. And lastly for my 800 plus page book I'm going to be reading Ship of Destiny by Robin Hom which is the third book in the Live Ship Traders trilogy. This actually seems pretty short. I... oh... it's not 800 pages. Dang it. Okay. I'm gonna need another 800 page book but I still will definitely be reading Ship of Destiny by Robin Hobb because it's a Robin Hobb book and it's the third Life of Traders book so I'm definitely gonna read this book 
but I'm gonna need another 800 page book. Oh, I think I have one. I think I have one. This one has to be 800 pages. This one has to be. There's no way this giant book is not 800 pages. I don't know if you guys can see that, but 801 pages. So hopefully I'll finish this whole book in the month. And it's, it's a book of novella, so there's there's like, it shouldn't be that hard to finish. And if I finish this in the month of March, then that'll be 800 pages. So yes, I do have an 800 page book. I will also still be reading Ship of Destiny by Robin Hobb because I love this trilogy and I really want to get to this one. I have to finish Magic first, obviously, which I'm currently reading, but I will definitely get to this one. And there are just a few other recent hauls that I'll just like round out the month with that I've just I got recently because I'm so excited to get to these and I don't want to push these back further until I'm not excited for them because then I just won't get to them so I want to try and get to them in March also. So the first one of these is The Lash Wish by Andrei Sikaski. This is the first novel in the Witcher series which is such a beloved series on booktube and I really really want to get to it. This book was originally published in Poland in Polish so it's a translated work and it is a grimdark fantasy and I'm so there for it. I'm really hoping that I will like it like everyone else seems to so definitely excited for this. The next one that I really want to get to is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. So many people on booktube love this book. The reason why I really finally want to get to this one is because King of Scars recently came out and everyone's talking about it and I want to read that one but I haven't read Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom. I have King of Scars on hold at my library. I'm not gonna get it for like another 10 weeks, but in order to read that one, I'm gonna have to read these two first. I'm hoping to finally get to Six of Crows in March so that I can get to Crooked Kingdom in April. So when I get King of Scars finally in May, I'll be able to read it because Nikolai is one of my favorites from the Grishaverse trilogy. And I'm thinking that this could be one of my favorites also. So many people love this book and I hope I will too. The next one that I really want to get to is Full Metal Alchemist by Hirumi Arakawa. This was one that I have been putting off and putting off but I really want to get to it. I've never read manga before and I really want to get into it and Full Metal Alchemist just seemed like the best place to start. So I'm definitely excited for this one and I feel like this will be a little bit of a faster read than the other ones because like manga obviously has lots and lots of pictures so I think it'll be kind of a fast read. It'll be good to break the pacing with some faster reads in so many books that I'm trying to get to this month. Also we have The Girl in the Tower by Captain Arden. So I have a third book in the Winter Night Trilogy on hold and I should be getting it in April so I really want to get to The Girl in the Tower which is the second book in the series. I'm currently reading The Bear and the Nightingale which is the first book in the series and so far I'm really liking it so I'm hoping that I can get to this one so that I'll be able to read the third one in April when I get it on hold for my life. So I'm excited for this one and I'm hoping that I can get to this one as well. And lastly is a book that I just got today but I really really want to get to it and that is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paparetto. It's a YA high fantasy book about warrior queens who ride on phoenixes which just sounds so much fun and I really really love this edition of it. It just has the beautiful cover with these purple sprite edges which is just super cute and I absolutely love it so I really want to try and get to this one in March. This is I don't know if I'm gonna get to this one this was kind of just like thrown in at the end because this is the 32nd book if you've been keeping track of the number of books that I've been mentioned this is the 32nd one so I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to this one but I really really do want to get to it. Okay so I am very ambitious for March like so ambitious. I really really doubt that I'm actually gonna meet like all of the books that I put up here that I want to get to but I'm just so excited for all of them. I couldn't decide which ones I wanted to prioritize over the other ones so I just decided to put all of them on my TBR and hopefully I can get to all of them. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I don't know if I'm gonna get to them but I'm also excited because I think it is possible and I'll feel really accomplished if I manage to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, sometimes more than that, so consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. I'll social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!